I am back on the barn project. Yes, I am down here. I'm in the lower level of our bank barn. We've got animal stalls on this side. And on this side, this used to be hog farrowing. And it's got this, uh, this uh, floor in here. Well, I want to turn this into more of a chicken coop area. Uh, at least down at the far end, we're going to try to build a chicken coop inside of our barn. And I need to tear all of this floor out. So there ain't really, uh, seriously, I mean, like, what's more fun than tearing stuff up, right? Um, so I got a chainsaw. And I've got what I use as a sledgehammer. I've got a splitting mall here. And I'm going to try to saw all this up and bust it out and try to get this whole side all kind of cleaned out so it's ready uh, and kind of a clean slate to be able to build a chicken coop. So I really want to have all our animals in one spot. That way I'm not chasing them down everywhere. So we'll try to get the chickens in here. So what I'm thinking is the, uh, I'm going to think about putting the chickens here in this, this corner kind of right here because this door right here is what leads out to the pasture. So I'm thinking about taking probably about 16 or so feet, 16, 20 feet, a big area, nice big area for a chicken coop, something with a door on it that we can walk into and get in and out, build some nest boxes, you know, in there. And uh, so the next section or a little further down, thinking about taking about uh, six foot wide, somewhere in there, uh, fence that all in and make like a brooder. So we can hang some heat lamps in there and then we could raise baby chicks in there or uh, start uh, meat chickens, the baby meat chickens in here until we move them out to pasture. So thinking about putting a brooder in that section. And then kind of the rest of this area here, I'll probably end up making another animal stall out of that area. Just, just basically kind of mimic whatever we do on this side and make another stall uh, for animals. So that's kind of the idea. Um, so I really just want to kind of make this a blank slate so that it's uh, ready for us to start building a chicken coop. So I'm going to get to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Sorry about the uh, lighting, you know, I don't have any electricity in the barn yet. That'll be one of the other projects coming along is getting the electricity out here. But uh, all through this section here, we've got all the boards out. So now I, now the, underneath here, underneath here, this is just old like hog manure through years and years. So now I'm just going to mask up and try to get all this shoveled out and out of the barn. Pretty nasty job. The fun part's over. Well, it's day two here on uh, cleaning this side of the barn out, uh, trying to make a chicken coop on this side. So we've got all the, uh, this is basically probably hog manure and straw is what the majority of this is, probably from the 60s and 70s. So <laughs> it's been sitting in here for a long time. And uh, it's probably composted, but I'm wearing a mask. Uh, got that all kind of shoveled over this little wall here, and then now I've just got to get it out the door. So. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get all this uh, shoveled out of here 
and uh, hauled away and then we'll try to clean up this side a little bit better and kind of make a plan on how we're going to do this chicken coop. Mask is getting pretty dirty. Whew. Well, got the, all the stuff out of the inside. Now look at that. That's a lot of crap. <laughs> We're just gonna wait. We'll wait till that. Uh, we'll wait till that uh, dust clears. And then we'll go inside and look around. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I had these lines on my face the other day. Um, seemed like for about three hours afterwards. Probably have them on all, on there for a while tonight too, from the mask. Whew. So all this really old, like hog manure and straw mixed together. Um, I'm not 100% sure that that actually is composted. I mean, it looks like dirt. You know, you'd think that maybe it's composted, but I'm not for sure if it is. It's very dry, so I think if it stayed dry, it wouldn't have really composted. So I'm not sure when it gets wet if it's going to actually smell like hog manure again or if it's going to have some kind of odor. So we're going to just haul this all off. We're going to haul this back to a spot on our property where, where we don't go very often. That way, in case it does smell, um, that it won't be near the house or near where we're normally at but uh, hopefully uh, hopefully it'll just um, it won't smell at all and it'll just be a part of the landscape it'll just be uh, new dirt for the property well I think the the dust is cleared now so let's go ahead and take a look so as we come inside here I don't know if you can tell but we actually got it pretty well cleaned up I mean the most of the dust is off the floor and uh, I mean there's still it still is not perfectly clean, but it's, uh, I think overall, for the first shot at it, it's a pretty good job. So, all along this wall here, they've got these little cinder blocks, little concrete blocks that, that the little floor joists, where I cut the floor out, the floor joists were sitting on these blocks. Well, these are just, these are just those, uh, what are they, They're like the three inch thick blocks? These things are definitely worth saving. These things come in really handy. Anytime you want to lift something up off the ground, you can put these underneath it. Um, anytime you find cinder blocks, concrete blocks that aren't broken, they're definitely handy to keep around. So uh, when we redo all this, we'll end up taking all these blocks and, uh, and trying to uh, save as many of those as we can. There may be a, a little bit of mortar on the ground holding them together. But a lot of times in mortar, you can knock off the blocks and still reuse them. So on this side of the, uh, you know, of the barn down here, this has got these concrete, like a two block high wall that that floor was built on. Well, I don't really want to have this wall here. I want, I want a chicken coop um, to be able to get in and out of. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this wall. If anything, I want to at least knock out a spot for a door or a couple doors so I can, you know, make a door in there. So as I was kind of looking this over, um these blocks down here take, hold on take a closer look here so these blocks down here it looks like somebody's already started removing some of them and you can't really tell it but there's actually a spot on the ground where you can tell where there was blocks before so um it doesn't look like they're anchored on the on the floor it just looks like they're mortared to the floor so they should be able to knock off pretty easy so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this mall over here we're gonna see if we can get uh some of these blocks and see if they pop off. So if they pop off really easy, I know that I'm definitely gonna be removing a bunch of these, if not, maybe even that whole wall right there. All right, yeah, look at that. That's gonna be easy. Okay. So that's that definitely. 
definitely not anchored at all. This will just pop right out of here. Really don't even have to hit it that hard. So that's a good thing. At least I'm not going to struggle with those concrete blocks. So as I've been cleaning up down here, I've noticed a few things that are going to need fixed. So I think we've got a few structural problems uh, that we need to repair before we start building uh, the chicken coop or the animal stalls. So if you look, I've got, I've got, there's a header here and there's a header there. There's two headers that run down this barn. So before there was actually a post here that went down to the ground and it was, it was short from going to the ground. So what I think it was is they took the concrete blocks out from underneath it. So then it was about a foot and a half, two feet off the ground and didn't reach the ground no more. So we took that post out earlier uh, when we were cleaning this barn up. So I, this next post here, if you look at it, I don't know if you can see that. Let's just look down here. If you look at that, it ain't even touching. So it ain't doing nothing. So. The rest of the posts seem to have to, at least the next three seem to be touching. And then this last one is actually, uh, I think it's a cedar tree that they cut down and made a post out of. And about half of it's gone at the bottom, so it's pretty rotten. So all these posts here need to be replaced. So that'll be one of the things that, that we need to do. Now one thing I noticed about this beam is this beam actually goes through the wall. And when it goes through the wall, it's actually this old roof system right here. And I think that's actually a little bit neat. I wouldn't mind trying to replicate that again. So I don't know if I can get these out and get a new, probably a 2x10, and get a new treated 2x10 in each one of these so I can rebuild a roof over this side door. I think that'd be pretty neat. So uh, if I'm doing the, the posts, this would be the same, the good time to do... Uh, these little headers here for the, this little porch roof. So one other problem is, is well, one other issue that we have is this side over here, these animal stalls on this side, that's kind of the basement wall, you know, that's kind of against earth on that side. But this side over here, used to be the rear wall and then they've added on past there but there's windows so there's already one busted out there that one's completely been removed um, but these two windows are intact but i don't want uh, animals uh, breaking these so i'm not sure uh, you know if an animal got on the other side but like a fox or something and wanted to get in the chicken coop if it could break these windows or not I, 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 or i don't know whether whether our animals in the future would break one of these windows so i think i'm definitely going to have to come up with something i want the light to shine through as much natural light as possible would be best but so what i want to do is um i'll probably go ahead and find a big peak of plexiglass maybe i don't know that's what I'm thinking and then put another layer on top of this so that it at least has a double layer of protection there and uh, there'll be plexiglass on this side which is the animal side so probably have to look into doing something about these windows I think so this window right here I think they actually removed that this is a guess I'm thinking they removed that for a doorway so they could get back here and back here was another set of stalls that was added on at a later time and uh, so that's not a bad idea. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this rear section yet. But when we do, I'll probably go ahead and make that a door and, instead of a window. But for right now, we'll just probably, since that is actually, it's just kind of hanging here. See, an animal could push through there pretty easy. So we need to make the barn secure. So we're going to have to somehow anchor uh, that shut so an animal, you know, can't get in here. Also, if you notice, this, this is like a really old, it's kind of a neat looking door, a really old door, but it's been patched together. There's, there's plywood stuck in here, different uh, layers of plywood just to try to, it probably was glass in there at one point in time. So I don't know if this is the original door. I'm going to take it that it's not because if you notice, this is kind of interesting, if you notice, the lock 
is on the hinge side. So I think somebody's just taken this door and slapped it up here just to help uh, close the barn up. So definitely, definitely looking for a, a replacement door uh, to help secure the barn also. So last time we cleaned out the barn, I noticed that down here was a drain here in this center aisle. But uh, after I took this floor out over here, I noticed there's another drain like right there that's right in line with it. So then I did a little bit more looking and I tried to kind of clean back in there and it looks like there's a drain on this side also um, that's kind of covered up with some stuff. So it'd be really nice if these drains, if we could get to make sure the drains work and still work, that way we can spray the barn out since it is a concrete floor down here. So all three of these drains are like right in line with each other. So there's obviously a drain line that runs under here, probably runs out the back of the barn here. But it'd be nice if we can figure that out and get that uh, running again so that we can actually spray these stalls out uh, with water every once in a while. Well, I think that wraps it up for, you know, getting the underside of this barn cleaned up. So previously we had got all this animal salt, the stalls on this side, we got that all cleaned out. So now we've got the floor removed from this side. We've got every the floor all cleaned up. So everything in this lower side is pretty much clean to the point we can start construction. So now we can start uh, addressing maybe some of the structural issues that we need to fix on this barn and uh, be able to start maybe uh, working on our, our uh, animal stalls and uh, maybe start working toward a chicken coop uh, down here. That way I can move the chickens out here in the spring. And uh, other than that, I'm, we are gonna continue on the fencing. I'll probably move back to the fencing for the barnyard next. So I am maybe rethinking the fencing a little bit. Uh, I do appreciate all your guys' comments. It makes me rethink some stuff. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of, of changing out here on how I was doing the fence gates. So that'll probably be in the next video. I, I do really appreciate the comments. It does make me rethink my whole thought process. You guys have a lot of good ideas. So, so that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you guys are interested in watching me try to fix this old bank barn up, uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's ended up being like 30 videos by the time I get done fixing this barn up. So stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching.